Um, I am the happiest I've ever been in my life, and it's because the teachings that you have taught me, and I have learned to live them. I've learned to live them unapologetically in my life, that even at work, like, whoa, 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 reality does not touch me, like, this is the magic that I'm in. Every morning as I'm in the shower, sometimes I'll have questions, what I would ask in the hot seat, and you come in and you answer it to the point where I'm like, all right, I've got everything, and the only thing that I've been thinking about all week is that I wanted to sit in the hot seat and say thank you. Yeah. Because I've discovered that gratitude, when you're excited, when you're just so grateful, seems to make things happen. And the more I can get grateful for something and get excited for things that I haven't seen yet, but I'm just so excited as if it's already here, it seems to come. Because that vibration of appreciation, that's an emotion that you can get too easily. And at, so we have a question for you. Are you able to acknowledge that there is a separation between the emotion of appreciation? You're calling it gratitude. We prefer appreciation. Doesn't really appreciation. matter. Appreciation. Do you? Are, can you acknowledge that there is a that you don't need something to specifically be in the moment of appreciating to feel appreciated? Yes, that you, you can, can actually feel it before it comes. That's the key. Yes. That's the key. I don't need a motive to appreciate. And in not looking, not having an ulterior motive, in just getting there, then, every, then the world is your oyster. Everything will flow to you easily and is. Someone sat in this hot seat once, and I was listening to them in the car, and they were asking for, somehow you gave a rampage about a BMW. And at the time I was like, oh, that would be neat. And so I pretended I got to the point where it felt like it. And then, sure enough, I find myself a few months later in a, like, wow, I didn't even want it. It just kind of, I did want it. It just kind of showed up. <laughs> How can you not? How can you not go into that rampage and imagine sitting and like, and it just shows up and not, anyway. Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely thing. And this is what's beginning to happen to you more and more, to a lot of you, where a, a manifestation happens that it doesn't, and, and it didn't feel like you were trying very hard. It didn't feel like you even, you said, I don't think I even wanted it. And the reason that it felt like you didn't want it is because you associate wanting with the stress of, of, I didn't stress of, about uh, it. of yearning for something yeah. where, where when you find that pure alignment, then the universe just begins yielding to you shovels full of, of manifestations that have been in your vortex for a while. In other words, it's such a lovely thing to, to have been just looking for fun and looking for clarity, not looking for a BMW, looking for fun and looking for clarity, not looking for a beautiful house in the snow, looking for fun and looking for clarity, looking for fun and looking for clarity and finding fun and finding clarity and finding fun and finding clarity and finding fun and finding clarity. And then things begin manifesting in your experience effortlessly because you finally are experiencing the power of the leverage of alignment you see that's why we've been explaining to you that you've been sifting and sorting and asking and putting it in your vortex and it's been culminating there it's been gathering it's prepared itself for you being ready for it it's better now than it was when you first put it there because you put other things in there with it that all morph together and so your vortex, your vibrational reality is ready to burst onto the scene in the moment that you vibrationally stop disallowing it. So this is the piece. This is another key that this gathering will help you hear in a very strong way. Humans often think that if they've got their sights on something, that they must find a way to think about that, 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 and rein it in like a fish on a line. It's not like that at all. It's that once you have set your sights on it and it's in your vortex, now your work is to chill. Your work is not to figure out what the path is. The path will be, the path is being revealed to you. You just have to figure out how to be receptive to the information about the path. Can you feel the difference about that? And the thing that trips you up, we're trying to demonstrate it for you here. So there is a vibration that becomes a thought. That's momentum worth celebrating. But humans don't want to celebrate it until it's in the garage. <laughs> so since it's not in the garage, you mess this up. And since it's not in the garage, you mess this up. And since it's not in the garage, you get another job. And since it's not in the garage, you work harder. And since it's not in the garage, you do all, you, you try to find all the behavior to get it in the garage. And all the stuff that you do to try to get it in the garage 
causes you to keep messing this up. You see what we're getting at? So if you can just find things that are easy to feel good about, then everything that you want will come into full fruition. You'll find it all in the garage. When you find it in the garage, and for me, I, I almost made a wish, just like I had seen people lose weight and it gave me the like, wow, if they can do it, I can too. Yeah. I thought maybe it'd be valuable if I lived such a magical, fun, happy life, I could show people it was true. And that seems to be the case, but it's like an on or off. Sometimes at a party, I'm like, don't ask me if you don't want to know because I start to talk about Abraham. I start, it's like I blast people and I feel it like, almost like a dimmer switch. <laughs> I, do you know what, like everything is so amazing and so happy. Sometimes like I almost want to hold it in until the party like, hey, how's your life going? Wah! And then I tell them and I can see them run away. Like they don't want to hear that sometimes. How? Well, they want to hear it, but here's the thing. They disconnect because they, they hear your words and they see your results. And this is the thing we've talked about here today. There, there is such a feeling of urgency to get, to close that gap, to get to where I want to be, where what we're wanting to emphasize is that this is the only gap that you can close. In other words, the only gap that you have the ability to close right now is the gap between vibration and emotion. You can close that gap right now. You can accomplish the emotional manifestation. If you can hear this, you have the ability today to accomplish the emotional manifestation. And if you do it and 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 do it, law of attraction will take you all the way to the, to the fulfilling culmination of everything that you want. But if you miss that step, if you try to jump, if you say, give me this and then I'll feel this, it doesn't work. Give me the manifestation and then I'll feel the emotion. That's backwards. Find the emotion and the manifestation is the momentum that will follow every single time. And once you get that, we've never said it clearly, more clearly. You've never heard it more clearly. Once you get it into alignment like that, then so much that's been in your vortex. You see, that's what people mean when they say, oh, I found you and now I'm happier. All that happened in their meeting of us is that we helped them to settle in to their natural vibration of allowing what they had already done all the work about. The work's already done. You got here, you explored, you asked, you filled your vortex full of so many things that are important to you. And now, as you find a way to just chill a little and reach for that unconditional emotion. I'm not happy because a BMW is on the way. I'm happy because I want to be happy. I'm not happy because I found my perfect mate or because my perfect mate is on the way. I'm happy because I'm happy. I'm happy because I'm happy. Turns out your necklace is the key. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy because I want to be happy. And when I wasn't happy, I thought thoughts that made me feel more happy. And it didn't happen all at once. But over time, I developed a, an intense determination to do the work that I can do to control the only thing that I can control, which is my mood. And now you understand the physics behind it. You know that vibration is turning into thought and emotion is right there with the thought. And that's the manifestation you're reaching for. And if you will leave it at that, if people say, what do you want? You say, I want to be happy. And they say, well, what makes you happy? And you say, being happy. <laughs> and they say, you're a nutcase. Yes. Yep. The crazier I am, the happier I am. <laughs> the less I face reality, the happier I am. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. And then just remind yourself, when you feel happy, say it to yourself, I feel happy. I feel so good. I feel happy. At first it surprised Esther because she didn't ever expect to be happy again after Jerry made his transition. One day she said, I'm happy. And then she said, I'm sorry. <laughs> just for a minute, felt wrong, felt wrong to be happy. The conditions, the conditions didn't seem conducive to happy. Sort of snuck up on her. Ah, I don't think I'm supposed to be happy under these conditions. You're supposed to be happy under all conditions. You're supposed to be unconditionally happy. That's what's natural to you, you see. And then the conditions will morph into all of the nuances, all of the details, all of the stuff that you've been defining. How do I share that and not blast people? How do, what do I... Well, when you, when you feel it, you radiate it. But, but here's the tripping point for you. You don't want to be happy to elicit a response from them. 
You want to be happy and you want the response from them to be none of your business because it isn't any of your business because you can't control. You don't know where they are when they meet you. Somebody who's, not, somebody, who's, somebody who's not happy, meeting a happy person, it never goes well. <laughs> it never goes well. All you do is remind them that they're not happy. And then I feel terrible about and, it. Like, and, oh, I pushed the further and down. And then when you explain to them why you're happy, that makes it even worse. It's right. like an, an indictment of what they're not doing. Right. And then they resent you. They wish for your demise. Yeah, I, I would say jealousy. I, I feel it all around me. And sometimes people are like, oh, well, how long is that going to last? And I think, oh, God. I, but I think I found something sustainable. I think I can make it last. What, what eventually happens as, as your happiness is something that you're consciously aware of yes. and, and consciously accomplishing, then law of attraction begins to surround you with more and more people who, who understand that. But remember, the, the, the most significant thing that we said to you today, which is the most significant thing to this point that we've ever said to anyone, is that your relationship, the relationship is between you and your source. We've said it before, but you've never heard it so clearly. That's the relationship that you're seeking because that's what happy is. Happy is letting all the barricades down and letting yourself radiate who you truly are because who you truly are is happy. Because who you truly are knows who you are, knows your value, knows your heart, knows who you are, knows why you came, knows what you were about, knows the eternal nature of your being, adores you. Who you are is happy, 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 because who you are is in alignment with source, with all that is good. It just doesn't get happier than happy. In other words, that's who you are. That's who you are. Appreciation. So I am a being of appreciation and I appreciate this work and so let's this. get so let's square this up if I'm happy and then thoughts of appreciation occur to me really good unfolding of the path if I'm not happy and I try to find something to appreciate to get happy da, da, da. <laughs> doesn't go as well does it so do you accept that you wake up and that when you wake up you have the potential of being happy try it you'll like it Try it. See what happens. Give it a go. Give it a week or two or three or four. You've been doing it and watch what happens. Watch what happens. Watch the way the world begins to revolve around you. Because when you get happy, what isn't happy can't come near you. And if something that's not happy is coming near you, you're not as happy as you think you are.